Ross is live in Atasca, one of the hardest hit communities. Jeremy. Well, good afternoon, Jim. Neighbors here in Itasca telling us dozens of homes were damaged as the storms rolled in. Lots of trees down, including the one right behind us. Take a look. It is balancing on the side of that house. As you follow it down, you can see it's completely uprooted. We draw your attention now to the school right behind us. Take a look. It has been taped off for safety and security reasons there. We are happy to report there are no reports of anyone injured in this community. We can also tell you that's the case as we visit Schaumburg. It was a war zone last night. After Mother Nature violently rearranged this once tree-lined community, order is restored one pile of debris at a time. The enormity of that work, however, leaving some physically and mentally exhausted. Try to get them back into the house. What do you do? Uh, a tree rests on Jackie Ilias's roof. She estimates the storm is responsible for tens of thousands of dollars in damage. The roof, the gutters, the paint and shutters. Part of our tree from the front yard is now in the back. And what was in back is now 20 yards elsewhere. Our trampoline is on our neighbor's shed right now. <laughs> when you bought the trampoline, you never thought to yourself they would bounce away. No, I thought the only thing bouncing on it would be us. <laughs> Separate the sections. 40 years ago, Tom Doyle assembled his amateur radio tower. The storm disassembled it in a matter of seconds. The thousands of dollars that went into the 80-foot tower and antenna now resting in sections on his lawn. All this can be replaced. Nobody got hurt. You'll be off air for a little while. Oh, yeah. Be back. A little disappointing, a little frustrating? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Neighbors believe dozens of homeowners suffered some kind of loss. And with the number of downed trees, some wonder if there's a kind of identity lost. Do you even recognize this place? No, it's going to look completely different once this is all cleaned up. It's, it's not going to be the same place. Mother Nature always has the last word. Back here in Itasca, first responders telling us they responded to dozens of calls related to the storm. Once again, fortunately, no one here was hurt. Utility crews are seen throughout this community trying to restore power. Live in Itasca, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim. Jeremy, thank you. The Fox